Okay, so I'm doing a review on this hair. Um, it is called the Angel Braid Collection Goddess Locks. Here's the package. Um, I had never heard of Angel as a company. This is in my local beauty supply store because they sold out of the free trips. They've been sold out for weeks and I went in to see if they had replenished their stock. Um, and I found this instead and I decided to go with it. It looked just as nice. Um, it claims to be feather light and they're prelude and it is. It's extremely light. It's so light that I felt like I didn't have enough in my head. I really felt kind of naked up here but it's it's plenty trust me um this is what the package looks like it comes with three loop areas each one has 12 i used um one of these entire packs plus four from this section so um I could have done it with one pack if I had counted them out appropriately. Um, I, I want to actually do it again. And <clears throat> I want to make the parts a little bit smaller. So I feel like I have more in my head. Um, I'm used to my undercut being covered when I want it to be covered. And this doesn't quite cover it. I mean, it covers good enough. But it's not as much cover as, as I would like. But it's summertime. I really don't care. Whatever. Um... <clears throat> So once again, if you'd like to see how I got this style, keep watching because I have a mini tutorial on how, that, how to crochet them in, a bit of an explanation on how to braid, you know, your hair, and um, actually um, I had some difficulty when I was pulling my hair through. There's a piece right there that's sticking out, but it's not that big of a deal. I could go back. Actually, I'll do it now to show you how you fix that. You take the crochet needle and you just go up inside of the dread. Push it through, well, inside to where the hair is puckering or popping out. Push it out right where the hair is. You want to push out all the way to the latch. Pull your hair under the hook, which this is short, so I'm just getting it so it's inside the latch. And then pull your hair through, and then it's hidden again. I found, because my hair is natural, and you'll see in the video, <clears throat> that the ends of my hair are kind of puffy. It's kind of cute, actually, but they're kind of puffy. And I found that when I was trying to pull it through, if I tried to pull the whole thing through at once, which meant I started further down on the dread to feed up and then pulled through. Um, it got hung. My ends would either get stuck up here somewhere or this would get stuck in my ends and then I couldn't pull the whole thing through. So I found that starting higher up or taking two short distances, which meant pulling the braid through twice like I did the second time for that end that was out, kind of saved me from getting tangled within the dread. Um, so once again, I would go through, pull the my braid through, it, the rest of it would be hanging out maybe about this much, and then I'd go through again, lower down, pull it through, and then it'd be gone. Um, but overall, it's really self-explanatory. If you guys have any questions, you can just ask, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability, or demonstrate the next time I do these. Um, <clears throat> actually, there are some I want to tidy up, like you can see the braid here as well. Out, but I'm not worried about that right now but ultimately let me know if you guys have any questions after watching the video and I can uh, give some demonstrations some further demonstrations or more detailed demonstrations um, later but I hope you enjoy the video um, I think it will give you the gist of what I've done and oh, I am loving this hair and I think you will too so stay tuned for the rest of the video Okay, so I've parted my hair into squares, of course, and I'd say they're medium size. I did one first, and then I 
put a dread in there to kind of see if it was the right size and I kind of used this size to kind of do the whole head. So this is what it looks like in the front. The side could And this side. They're not even. They're pretty straight though. I'll take some pictures. And I honestly, this this is kind of cute. <laughs> I really think this is kind of cute with my hair braided like this. My ends could be straighter, but anyway. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do one. And then I'll do most of my head and come back and maybe explain what I found difficult about this process. Or strange or odd or whatever. Um, where's my crochet? Oh, just hate it. Okay, so I'm going to just start where I left off. Most of you guys know how to do this. I, I really don't want to know why people demonstrate and explain this because it's kind of self-explanatory, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway because everybody else is doing it. But you take the crochet hook, you pull the latch back, I guess you'd call it, push it underneath the braid or through the root of the braid, pull all the way through, put your dread on there, flip the latch back, pull it through. Now with the crochet hook still in the loop of the dread, you want to hook the end of the dread to the crochet hook, flip the latch, and then pull the dread through the loop. And then pull it taut on the braid. So you have a nice loop. You don't want to yank your hair out of course. Now this part, I'm going to have to use my mirror. So I'm going to have it set out as one of my son's toys. I'm going to take an ice cream break real quick. Okay. <laughs> I try to measure the length of my hair. My hair goes down to about right here. So I'm going to start about right here. You just want to stick the crochet needle through or in, not through, in the dread and kind of push up in between the dread, in between the, uh, how can I describe it, the twists of the dread, because the dread is just basically this. So there's a empty area on the inside. Sometimes you'll poke out, but just make sure you stay in. I'm going to go all the way up to the top, to the root. As close to the root as you can. When it pops out, make sure you pop it all the way out so the latch is out. Take the braid, hook it onto the latch, flip, I mean, hook it on, you know what I mean. <laughs> flip the latch and then pull the braid through. And if you measured correctly, you shouldn't hook out. See, all gone. So that's done. This is going to be cute. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do it again so you can see. And then after a few more, I'm going to go ahead and just do my whole head. I can't do it on camera because I don't have that much memory on my phone. So I'll come back. Sorry, I'm watching Unam Flux or whatever it's called. Let me turn this down. So let's do it again. Gonna push up through or under the braid at the root. Hook the loop of the dread on the hook. Flip the latch, pull it through. Leave the hook, or pull this all the way through the loop of the dread. Put the end, you wanna do the end because it's easier to pull it through that way. The end of the dread, flip the latch, pull it through. Pull it taut on the braid. Measure your hair. Go through or in the dread. Go all the way up to the top. See, I just pulled that there, but I just pulled it back in and started pushing through. You just want to kind of, kind of stay in the center. Loop your hair. 
onto the hook with the latch. It's very important. I just messed up. It's very important that you get the latch all the way out of the dread. Otherwise, it, you'll hook the hair when you're trying to put the latch or, or whatever. So then you just pull it through. And you're all set. All done. So that turned out pretty good. Yeah, they're cute. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish or do most of my head. Um, and then I'll come back. If I find any difficulty or anything, any tricks that I had to develop because I ran into some issues, I'll come back and record it and um, show you. Otherwise, the video is pretty much done. It's self-explanatory once you see it a few times. Um, if I don't run into any issues and there's nothing to report, then you'll just see the finished product in a few. And before I go, actually, I'm just going to do one more. So you don't have to rewind it if you still have questions or still want to see it again. I'm actually going to zoom up and get closer. So pardon my fingernails and my fingers. They're jacked. But here we go. Let's see if I can get up close and do it without even looking in the mirror. Let's get this braid. Let's get everything else out the way. You're gonna go up through through the braid, the root that is. Hook the hair onto the hook, latch it, pull it through, pull the crochet needle all the way through the loop, hook the end of your dread onto the hook, like so. Flip the latch, pull it through the loop of the dread, pull it taut on the braid, as tight as you can without yanking your hair out. Measure your hair, take the hook with the latch down, push it up through the dread, not through, I keep saying through within the dread. That's the better term to get the best understanding. Remember, if you pop out, like a set pop out here, just pull it down and just, just keep pushing up. It's not going to hurt anything. You don't have to start over. Okay, I'm here. Now we're going to pull your hair, the braid, put it on the hook, flip the latch, pull through. You want to go slow. You don't want to yank. Oh, see? I didn't measure well. So I'm going to go back and fix this. See? A tip right here. These are good. You don't see any hair hanging out. But this one, I didn't measure very well. So I'm going to go back in underneath this. It hangs way down here. Oh, my hair is long. And just start over. Just do what you did before. Go up to your hair. Pop it out where your hair is. Loop your hair. This is a bit more difficult though. Loop your hair. Wait a minute. It'll pop it out to the. So the latch is visible. Hook your hair in the hook. Now this is going to be difficult because I'm underneath of it, but it can still be done. Flip the let See, I fell back in there in the hair. Ugh. I'm going to make sure I measure my hair better because this is a pain in the... Okay, see how I hooked that? I just wrapped it around so it was in there. Flip the latch, pull it through. And now it's gone. Okay? So, I'm going to keep going. For running into any issues, like I said, I will um, start recording again. Otherwise, you'll see the finished product in a few minutes. It'll be like magic. Toodaloo.